ago, Elliot and uh, Dean talked about this project, uh, putting guitar out a tribute guitar because Tommy never played uh, Dean because they weren't out. You know, Tommy passed in '76, so we got through around ideas and uh, and stuff like that. So we came up with the, uh, the you know the most uh, uh, popular album as, as, as far as as you can tell the, the logo is everywhere. And we thought, well, if we use a picture, what do we use? So we went with the teaser. Uh, uh, album cover, so uh, it just uh, it just came out this you know last couple of days and it's uh, it's going to be a winner. It's, it's well, it looks amazing. And it's a beautiful guitar, and it's um, and I'm here with uh, Nick. He's over here, but he helped me get the whole thing going too. We're we're both from uh, Iowa, okay. and Nick had worked with uh, Elliot down in uh, Florida, oh. so Nick had, had met my parents way back when, and so he called me, and the whole thing just happened. Actually, about a year ago, we started talking about this. And there it is. It's amazing, and that's going to feel really good for you, huh? Yeah, it really is. I mean, Tommy's got records out to this day. And I, when, you know, he's in Guitar Player Magazine last year, the cover. So, I mean, after all these years, he still remembered because he's a very uh, uh, gifted guitar player, you know, one of the best. So when stuff like this comes out, just a reminder that uh, his legacy, you know, continues to live on, you know? Absolutely. Well, I think this is incredible, and I'm so glad to see this. Yeah, you too. First time so much of Tommy's actual personal effects and memorabilia and clothing and gold records and stuff has been collected in one place. Absolutely. And can you introduce yourself to everybody? I'm Nick Simmons. So uh, I designed the guitar and, and uh, got Johnny together with Dean Guitars. And it's been kind of a dream for all of us to see uh, Tommy honored this way. It's Absolutely. been about 30 years. So uh, Wow. A little bit of a... I mean, like, this is the suit that his girlfriend had made for him when he played with Deep Purple. You know, and there's some pictures of him with James Gang when he played with James Gang, and then uh, these are two solo records. Here he's wearing the T-shirt that you see right here. That's on the inner sleeve of the Private Eyes album. This is my mom and dad. Oh. So I was just saying a little, you know. You, I mean, we have tons and tons of memorabilia. Some of the stuff's in the Hard Rock, but you know, you only have so much room to put out what you can. Put yeah, that was, out. About, that was what I was about to ask you. Gotta, you gotta decide what's, you know, what can you, what means the most to, with a limited amount of space, but. You know, we got a pretty good sized booth here, and it's it's nice. Absolutely. Well, now if fans want to check this stuff out um, in person, besides Nam, you talked about the Hard Rock Cafe and otherwise. Yeah, there's some memorabilia all around the Hard Rocks, you know, and uh, and then you know we got a, a Tommy Bone archives. I'm dealing with that, and, and uh, we just put out a record yesterday on Friday Music of uh, it's called the Ultimate t Two. Uh, the Ultimate from the Ultimate One. And uh, that was put out in 89 by Geffen Records. And the Ultimate 2 came out yesterday on Friday Music. It's 33 unreleased songs of Tommy's. So like I said, it keeps going and going. Yeah, absolutely. Which is, you know, nothing wrong with that. Well, I wish that you guys could be here in person and see this. I, I don't know how good it's going to come across on camera, but in person it is just beautiful. This right here was uh, airbrushed by Prairie Prince from The Tubes. The band The Tubes. Wow. So, uh, stuff for Tommy uh, back in the days. Right. So it's, it's been preserved pretty well. Well, how exciting for you. I'm really happy for you. That's really, yeah, really I'm cool. I'm myself. Yeah. Dean's a great company. It's a beautiful guitar, and then I hope everyone goes out and buys one. Absolutely. It's such an amazing company. They're so innovative. You know, they, they really are. They just, uh, um, they were just really kind of open to this whole idea with the help of these other guys. Like, well, you know, it's kind of something that's brand new, fresh to the Dean, you know, so um, there's open. Awesome. Now, do you yourself have a Dean guitar at home? Uh, yes, I do. What do you have? I have a, uh, a big, my son has a baby Z. It's a three-quarter size neck. He's only 12. Oh, so I, I play that every once in a while. But yeah, I got, I got a couple of Deans at home, so yeah. I can't wait to hear your son when he's yeah, out he, there he's rocking. He's coming. He's coming. Well, very cool. Well, thank you so much for taking time out. And talking to him. I appreciate it. Really yeah, good. It's a pleasure to meet you, and I'm so happy that this has come into existence. This is really, really cool. So, very good. All right, well, take care of yourself, and we'll see you soon. <laughs> well, so, we are back at Dean Guitar's booth, and uh, we're just hanging out here, meeting people, saying hi, saying what's what, who's going on, and um, you know what? She looks adorable. I'm going to come say hi to you, too. <laughs> I, I've been eyeing your pink hat the whole time we were talking. I was like, there's a Tommy Bowen button right there. Oh, oh, that's so cool. Tell, tell everybody your name. Uh, Tammy Morgan. Yeah. yeah. So are you having a good time here at NAMM? I'm